Anyways, I clearly don't know how to act in front of my camera since I haven't been on YouTube in like two months. I don't even know where to begin. I'm moving into my own apartment. Ah! I'm so excited. Once I get in there, I'm definitely going to dedicate my spare time strictly to YouTube because I really just want to be more involved with it and I want to create more content. I want to learn how to use the camera better. I just want to submerge myself into YouTube. Within my new apartment, and I have a beauty room, no more filming in my bedroom, which is nice because then everything will just be set up and stay like that so that I don't have to lug it up and down the stairs like I'm doing now. I kind of want to vlog the whole experience, not only so that you guys can see it, but so I can kind of have like a video diary of my first apartment. Like, I am so excited. There's a lot of makeup stuff that I want to talk to you guys about, like products that I've been loving, products I haven't been loving. Do like a Hooray's and Nays video soon. Today for a video, I want to do what's on top of my vanity. It's clearly changed since my last video. And I kind of want to do this video before I move. If you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do! So you don't miss out on any other videos. And if you don't follow me on any of my social medias, <laughs> I will leave them in the screen and also in the description box down below. So yeah, I do a lot of updates on there too, if you guys care. Let's just jump into this video right now. It's going to be my current what's on top of my vanity. This is what my vanity looks like right now. I turned the ring light off so I don't blind you guys because it's really bright. So we're just working with natural lighting. Just an overview of what I keep on top of my vanity right now. Let's start over with these drawers first. So I just had this little candle. I finished it. I had to depot it because I really like the container of this. I have my Coco Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel right here. Then I just have a Marc Jacobs lipstick. Okay. Um, what? I have a Dior Cheek and Lip Glow. And then just a little Chanel number no. 5 perfume bottle. And then just my S. I have this acrylic container that houses most of my foundations. So I just put the ones that literally fit inside of here. <laughs> right here I just have gold makeup. Um, this is just the Cover FX uh, Custom Enhancer Drops. And then I have this little Hula Quickie Stick, which I really like the formula of this. It's really easy to blend out and it's such a nice color. Milani Keep It Smooth Lip Treatment. This is the Sleek Makeup Palette. And then I just have my three YSL lipsticks over here. So in these little drawers, I just have liquid lipsticks, which this is more visually appealing because I have more of the same brand. The top one is just like a hodgepodge. This little container at TJ Maxx. So this is what I keep on top of these drawers. <laughs> this is just like a little mail holder that I keep some of my palettes. So in here I have my Lorac Pro palette, the Naked 3 Urban Decay palette. Here I have my Modern Renaissance and then this Makeup Revolution Ultra Blush Palette. This middle section, I have this NARS palette that I got on the NARS website. Oh, I hate when it gets all dirty. That like literally drives me nuts. I hate packaging like that. But I do actually love this palette. It comes empty, and these are all of my Anastasia Glow Kit highlighters that I just put in here because I just wanted them all together. And I think this looks so visually appealing. I'm like obsessed with it. You guys are interested in like depotting a bunch of eyeshadows or highlighters or anything like that and you want it all in one palette this is something that you should check out because this is absolutely huge and you can just get it on the NARS website and I think it was only like 17 bucks I love the packaging of this this is the new Tarte magnetic palette this is amazing because it has a mirror as you can see and it's absolutely huge so it's perfect for traveling and I just keep my single eyeshadows in here obviously Makeup Geek peach smoothie is my favorite in this front um, little holder. I have the Violet Boss Pro Highlighter Rose Gold Palette. This is absolutely beautiful. I'm obsessed with this. These you can also take out. So if you were to get this NARS palette, you can just stick those in there. And you can stick them with your other eyeshadows as well. And then I have the Sephora Pro with the big ass mirror. Do you see this mirror? It's absolutely huge. This palette is top notch. Okay, so any negative review that you hear about this palette, it's totally not true. So that, I just have this little container that I got from TJ Maxx, 
and it has my lip liners in one compartment it's sectioned out and then my colored uh, liners and then just my liquid liners okay so currently how I have this set up right here I keep my setting sprays and then over on this other drawer set I keep the primers that I kind of want to use more of so that's kind of just how I sectioned it I kind of like it for right now I'm not really sure if I like how it looks but I like how I can display a lot of products so then I can start using them so these little containers I got at TJ Maxx along with this so let's just jump into what's on top of here back over here I had this Too Faced Hangover RX 3-in-1 replenishing primer it is exactly that it replenishes the skin so well very very hydrating so if you have dry skin I totally recommend this the super goop um, SPF setting spray totally grape water bottle on the bottle makeup setting spray this burns the absolute crap out of my eyes like I don't understand what the heck is in this formula I totally do not recommend this I'm just trying to use it up Scandinavia the makeup primer spray the max strobe cream the Mario Badescu uh, facial spray with aloe I am obsessed with the formula of this this is the Tarte ready set radiant skin mist this makes your skin look so beautiful and so glowy but the smell makes me just want to throw up patch of luminous dewy skin mist this one of my subscribers sent me shout out to Vanessa you have to shake it up and what I usually like to use this for is spraying it on my beauty blender and then like dabbing my foundation into my skin makeup prep and prime Marc Jacobs what is this cover stick one of my friends gave me this is so sweet of her I like this for underneath the eye I think that it like helps with um, darkness and then this is the Josie Marin strobe cream Josie Marin highlighter the milk makeup cooling stick and then these are just little um, color correctors. In this first drawer, I have like eyeshadows that I really want to start using more of. And then this is just blush and a highlighter. This is just like a hot project stuff. I randomly go through my collection and I just pull out products that I haven't used in a while or that I want to start using up. In this drawer, I just have eyebrow products and then my Bare Minerals powder, which I absolutely love. Bare Minerals concealer and then a Bare Minerals highlighter, which is super pretty. Dream Bronze BB, which I absolutely love. This is a concealer that I'm trying to use up. This powder, I absolutely love. This is the ELF finishing powder. This is such a good powder, this Maybelline Dream Wonder powder. This is just a blush from Model Co. I am obsessed with this color for the summer. This is the L'Oreal Lalac. Back here, I have the Marc Jacobs Do You Do Drops. Stars Laguna Liquid Bronzer. Alana Davison was talking about this on her channel. And I was like, oh my god, I have to try those because they're so glossy. Clarins Comfort Oils. And they're literally so beautiful on the lips. I'm actually wearing the pink one right now. This is the Soleil Tan de Chanel uh, Liquid Illuminator. Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. I'm still trying it out. I don't know how I feel about it yet. This is my Coco Chanel Natural Loose Finish Powder. This is the Urban Decay The Velvetizer. Oh my god. This is so amazing. I've been so obsessed with this. <laughs> it makes your skin look so freaking airbrushed and smooth. It's amazing. And you can also mix it, mix it in with your foundation. So moving on to this side. This is where I keep most of my primers so that I can test them out and use them. Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Then I have these little samples here. M Glow Glow Starter. I love these. Oh my god. This gives you such a nice glowy look to the skin. I usually like to wear this when I'm not wearing any makeup and just throw this on with like a lip gloss. So pretty. Carez Greek Yogurt Milk Blurring Primer. The Tarte Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer. This really does smooth out anything. It's such a thick primer and I like to put the remainder underneath my eyes. For here I just keep my brushes, like my face brushes and then my eye brushes. More little tiny liquid lipsticks these are just lip glosses that I grabbed out of my collection that I want to use more of this is so visually appealing I love this so much last drawer I have a hodgepodge of stuff that completes this video if you like these kind of videos give this video a thumbs up so I know to continue to do them I just find it so interesting to see what other people keep on top of their vanities that's just me and I don't really see other videos like this unless you're doing like a makeup collection video so that's kind of why I wanted to start this series thank you so much for watching this video and remember to hit that subscribe button it would mean the world to me I keep clapping till next time I'll talk to you guys later.